Hello guys, how are you? It's Christian here. I'm currently going to do a tutorial video on what I think is one of the best server hosting companies. So, first of all, I spent a while after playing on many servers looking for a decent server hosting company and I came across um, a YouTube channel and he recommended well, his fans to a um, particular hosting team or website whatever you may call it so that one is MC Pro hosting so first of all I'll just so just go and google type MC Pro hosting or I'll just link it down below but this is really one of the best that I've seen so far it's easy to use um, that people are so helpful all I've got to do is just click this box down here and then um, I can start talking to anyone that I'll need help with or anything uh, they've recently done a big revamp of everything uh, mainly UI uh, you can actually see a lot of it through here although yeah so they've got uh, many new features I guess you could say alright guys so first of all let's have a look at the plans these plans you can get a $2.50 plan five players and if you're like me and you don't have much friends no, I'm just kidding. Now, if you want a decent server and you only want a minimum amount of players, five players, two dollars fifty a month. Seriously, who doesn't have two dollars fifty a month? Now, um, server rate, server prices vary from two dollars fifty to sixty dollars a month. Um, they all usually they've actually changed a few things, but um, you can play any type of servers on here it doesn't have to be just plain vanilla so that's always good so first of all you check out your your plan that you want to do um, I'm pretty sure I'm on gold plan anyways okay so I've got a um, gold plan so and then how you access that is you'll do all your stuff you'll register and whatnot and then um, the best place to go to is control panel this is your main control this is where you'll be finding where to start your server stop your server restart you go to your console your files and all that so first of all once you've purchased it you've got this main screen here uh, you can name your server I call it Krusty Craft um, you've got your server address here and I'll probably have that blurred out um, so you can easily just copy it and paste it to your friends on Skype or whatever you use MSN like anyone uses that anymore <laughs> Alright, and then you can choose your server type. Now to change your server type, they've actually really recently changed it. So before you, there'd be a drop down menu just like this down here, and you would um, click on it. That I'm going to go into further detail with, but at the moment we're currently using the vanilla version 1.7.10, also known as latest. This is your node here, so there is a part on the site where you can actually look what nodes are online and generally on their Twitter or um, I'm pretty sure they have a Facebook I'm not sure not so sure but they do have a Twitter definitely they'll keep you updated um, with any nodes that will be down they've given you a chance to view your own status banner so by clicking this it just gives you a basic one that you can paste onto anything like um, Minecraft forums or something and um, yeah there, there you go so you can share you can even share your your server so you can check out my Minecraft server blah 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 hosted by MC Pro Hosting and gives you all that so you can post that to your fans on Twitter uh, you've got your world options okay so first of all if anyone has ever created a server before you've got uh, the world name so what this part here is is it explains it tells the server what file name it's looking for and if it's not there it will generate its own make its own world like you would loading up a minecraft world so if you have it named world you could potentially have a second file uploaded to it um, called world 2 and so you can easily swap between it by clicking it and pressing save um, don't make any changes in saving them without stopping the server I haven't tried without it I'm pretty sure it won't do as big as a deal but it's probably recommended that you don't uh, you've got this part here which is live chat code uh, a lot of the times if you're speaking to 
um, what live chat is first of all is it's that part that I showed you very first down here so you click that you say I need help with this this and this and they'll ask you for your live chat code if they need it depending on what it is so you've got advanced options uh, it's just basic auto save and announce world save so if you don't want announcing world save there was a few videos my mate and I did on YouTube where I just kept announcing world save I don't know if it was a bug or something I'm not sure but then so that's the basics of it all once you've chosen what you want it to be set out at so crusty craft server address server type node status banner share whatever you've got all that stuff there so once you click save it goes on and it just saves it for you this is all online by the way so you can open up your console I'll close this off you can open up your console this is where it would show up in a command prompt or a java exe um, so it just will say loading server properties and it'll give you all your general log info we've got a few things on the side here one of them is called chat so first of all if you uh, want to chat to your players you can type hi it's not on at the moment so it's probably going to give me a message yeah so we're not running so there you go but generally it will post to the server so you we then have console and subdomain subdomain is if you have like to be honest I actually don't fully understand subdomain I'm pretty sure if it's if you've got your own website or so you can call it my server at whatever you want to call it so you can just choose a subdomain you don't have an active subdomain there you go allow people to visit your server without having to type in or remember the long address you can set up your subdomain here so you can just set up a subdomain it's just an, something easy alright and uh, you've got server type this is also where you change that's just another click through to if you wanted to change your server type here let's just click that and that will change your mod files that will be another video we'll be doing uh, you've got files so you can load a world um, this is it actually looks new oh well there you go you can just straight up install worlds that they've put up uh, this is actually very new I didn't even realize it was there to be honest but um, yeah there's a lot of interesting worlds that they will support and they'll add it to and it won't be anything buggy and there's not going to be random people on your worlds if you whitelist so under files you've got config files Con these config files are mainly for um, whatever the f the web hosting program will find it will just find the title name and it'll come up with the main config files it may not come up with all of them is what I'm trying to say config files is where you configure uh, what you're wanting to do with particular mods or whatever it goes into some detail with some things so under there you've got bucket plugin so that would be if you've got bucket or anything like that and um, you want to get plugins that they've recommended and an easy to upload they have some of their own they might I'm pretty sure it's just their own but they've created some pretty good ones okay FTP file access is something I'll show you in a sec but you've got advanced so you've got user accounts players commands schedule tasks and MySQL database. MySQL database I've not touched. Um, that's only if you really want to be advanced with it. But I've got a general save set up every seven days and a backup. And you can go through to this by um, selecting new task. And from here you you can call what it is. You can either schedule it or pause it. Um, you can schedule the time interval. So one minute so you can do it in days or whatnot the command so you can have admin say time whatever um, and your arguments that's if you have any arguments for it and it's run for other server everyone across the United States okay. so this is where things get interesting so you can back up your server down here okay so now once you've selected what you want to do your config files obviously aren't there as you may have seen just before so all this means is that you want to start your server and if we look into console you'll see it's coming out with a refresher and it's loading config for vanilla and okay alright so what we've got here is the server saying you need to go to um, agree to the EULA in order to run the server what 
it has been happening lately if you haven't been on the interwebs <laughs> um, hearing about it all is there was a lot of servers that were charging for ridiculous things for ridiculous amounts and surprisingly people were paying for them so what they've done is they now started to enforce their EULA um, really their EULA states at the moment nothing to do with Minecraft really can be sold by like anyone else other than Mojang but they've been pretty lenient with it and now they're starting to crack down on it because people have abused it unfortunately so for what we do there is we'll go to files and we'll go to FTP file access this will come up with your basic logs your uh, um, this is the server jar so this is what the server will be running off and your properties which is there so we, we want to click on Yula and it'll come up here and say by changing this setting below to true you indicate your agreement to our Yula blah 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 alright so once you've read that you true and you save file so what's going to happen is it's going to run a check to see if you're well have done that on your Yula when you click back to control panel up here then when you click start it should run smoothly fingers crossed alright so it's loading the config for the server it's failed to load a whitelist because it's not there so it will create the files so don't stress error messages you're going to receive them first time there's going to be files that aren't there but it's going to make them so the startup's done you could jump on your server right now and start playing around but you don't know what your server properties are at the moment so what I generally do is I'll stop the server that way I'll be able to access my config files now the easiest way at the moment to access your files if you just want to configure them is by clicking FTP file access under files once you're there uh, you've got all the automatic uh, files that it's made you've got your whitelist they've changed shit on the whitelist um, and that's pretty much all I can say because now it comes up with all this other stuff just ignore that it's probably best to actually add people to your whitelist by going whitelist add off here alright alright but yeah so if it's online and you want to add people you can just do it like that um, you've got your OPs your general stuff so what we really want to look at is the server properties so under here this is where you you've seen this before um, this is all the files that you'd have if you uh, if you started a Minecraft server in it, your own file what you practically have brought off MC Pro Hosting is one file where your whole server is running off where they're managing it all you don't have to worry about it taking RAM from your computer or anything so once that's done you can name whatever level name which is world that is done under the world name so once you select world world back at the start alright so we're not going to go into too much details you got your whitelist it automatically sets up your IP so that's there it's probably be phased out um, your command blocks and whatnot so at the moment I've got whitelists where is it false so if we set that to true it's going to detect that as true you got to make sure you press save on things so if I press save file file save successfully and that is all done so that's the server properties done that I wanted to do uh, once that's all done you can easily go back to control panel and there you have it you press start and it will start off the server yes that's what I wanted this is what you should have right here it will say these these beautiful things unless you've got a different game mode but you know whatever so that's done that is done right we'll open our minecraft and once you log in and all that and have brought minecraft you select whatever one is your most recent and you can select play alright so this will load your minecraft 1.7.10 and from here this is where the magic happens my dear friends so when you first log on the server, at the moment I am currently not an OP, so be aware of that. It is currently just me as a general player, and there's no one else able to be on. 
So we'll go to multiplayer, yes, go you add server. I've already got there, but you can add server, you add your server address. If once again, where you find your server address is not there, not in any of these places. What are you doing? Is yeah, so you click copy and you can log in like that. So once you've done that, you got your server there. So it's logging in. And and there you go. We're on. So this is general survival. I will have no admin commands, so if I go whitelist add John. Oh right, yeah, you gotta you gotta do the slash goth. See how you don't have permission. So at the moment I'm just currently a player in the world. And as you can possibly see, um, there is no lag. There may be some generation, world generation lag. Um, depending if you've got any mod packs loaded, which we'll go through later on. But yeah, you can go around and start finding things. Yeah, you know, beautiful savannah over here. So um, that's the basics of that. If you're looking to OP, once again, you can easily just open your control panel and just go OP and go Krusty 96. Once I'm opt, you'll see it will announce it online, and then I can do things like, and it's just like the normal Minecraft servers. So that's the basics to MT Pro hosting. Um, very very basics. Well, not very, very basic. It's actually pretty much really the easiest of it all. Uh, later on, we'll be going into custom jars and different mod packs. Uh, these will be accompanied by server-side and client-side. Server-side meaning the server itself will have to have the mod pack loaded, and your client-side will also have to have the mod pack loaded. But as you can see, it's pretty much seamless. Uh, and you may be saying, oh, it's the one that I've got, the gold plan, and it's just me on at the moment. That is true, but um, they all are pretty decent. Like, dead set, you get what you pay for. Uh, you pay for the $2.50 one, and it'll be good. It'll be great for whatever you need to do. Uh, so we've got a nice temple over here. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in other episodes where I can show you how to upload your own server files such as your own world files so if you've already done a world you just want to play on this is actually a nice spawn what's going on yeah and so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you around please like and subscribe and watch the rest of our tutorials or even our gaming videos is great i am currently quite tired I must admit. so thank you for watching and